Many Americans, however, agreed on their favorite big top performer. Hands down, Lillian Leitzel. She was the greatest superstar of the circus I've ever seen. Leitzel came from a family of circus acrobats in Germany. She began performing with her mother and aunts when she was just 11. Almost immediately, she began taking attention away from her jealous mother. In the 20 years since John Ringling had brought the family act to the United States, Lietzel had become one of the nation's biggest circus stars. Now a soloist, her fame rested on the second half of her act, a series of swingovers that would dislocate her shoulder on every turn. The crowd would count each one out loud. Her record was 240 rotations. She had those shoulder dislocation, which were very well staged because there's a moment suddenly her her penis went away and <laughs> her hair uh, get while she was doing that. Technically, it, it was okay. Physically, it was mm, But she had this Im immense charisma. And in a place like the Ringling Tent with these thousands of seats, and everybody was totally hypnotized by what she did. Lillian Lisa was a tremendous actor. So she wiggled her toes, you know, that got people's attention. She was a performer from the time she took off her sandals till she, got, till she came back down. Lillian Liesel was a performer. Lietzel's fellow performers found her theatrics amusing. She was a storm center every day she lived, one aerialist remembered. But she never had a tantrum unless there was a good audience around to enjoy it. The band leader, Merle Evans, feared her. When she finished her act, he would yell to his drummers, drummers, take cover, because Lietzel would go after them. She would be angry about the inadequacy of the drum roll. Performers got ready in the communal dressing tents. Lietzel had demanded her own private dressing tent, fresh flowers daily, and a maid to go with them. As a rule, one journalist observed, Lietzel fired the maid before and after each performance. Her relationship with Mexican aerialist Alfredo Codona was just as stormy. Known as the Adonis of the Altitudes, Codona's celebrity rested on his skillful execution of a triple somersault. The power that it takes to do a triple is very hard. It takes years and years in dedication, mentally, physically. It's very demanding. And he made it look so easy. These triple somersaults were absolutely neat. It was not the big event with a super drum roll and really catch it. He caught it, period. There were no suspense. He just did it totally naturally. 
Lietzel and Cadona tied the knot in Chicago between a matinee and the evening show. The marriage was very tempestuous as any marriage with Lillian Lietzel would be with anybody. And they both had a gigantic ego. They were both big stars and they knew it. He was beautiful. She had this wonderful charisma and charm. So it was the sort of uh, Hollywood kind of marriage made in hell, actually. <laughs> For the audience, was made in heaven. <laughs> <laughs>